What up guys, Mad Scientist 7A90 here on the RSTS Express Wrestling Channel with MVP Shear again. Do you really care if I call you MVP Shear or MVP Shear 123R88? Because I really just don't want to say the ending. It sounds really good. I would like a longer ass name. I mean, so that way the people can follow me on the friggin' YouTube page. You don't put any to. videos up. It doesn't fucking matter, dude. Whatever. Just, just okay. do it right. So today we're here to talk about the rumor that I'm pretty happy to hear about. The rumor that... Mr. Giant Bernard, also known as A-Train, back in the day from WWE. Um, Ooh, Prince Albert. Prince Albert also, yes. Um, shave your back. Oh, yeah. Shave your back, back, yeah. The rumor that um, he may be signing back with the WWE and um, running a program with John Cena after WrestleMania. Um, he denies this on Twitter, um, saying he's running another tour with New Japan. He, his wife just had a baby. Um uh, you, you know, is this a cover-up maybe to kind of just make it a surprise or or is it kind of just people just speculating? Because I don't know, honestly, I, I would love to I would love to see it be real because I think WWE needs more good big man workers. I think he's, oh, yeah. know, for John Bernard's a good big man worker and um, I, I don't think they should have him come back as A-Train. I think they should have him come back as Giant Bernard. I think that would make sense to me and I like the, the way he gimmick he runs in New Japan, and I think it would work here in America, um, you know, and, and as a heel, and I think people would really hate him again. Um, but I think they should work with a different gimmick for him. I think it worked with Umaga. People really didn't see how good Umaga was until after he kind of died, you know. But, I mean, it sounds bad to say that. <laughs> what the fuck? Just randomly talking. You didn't see how good he was until he died. Well, I, well, I, I mean, mean, he, he, had, he left. He had and, good matches before that. Well, I mean, yeah, he left, that, so. and then he came, you know, went to, went to Japan, and then they re-signed him, gave him the Omaga gimmick. And, I mean, we, people really kind of just, because of his gimmick and because of, you know, the, the way he carried himself, no one really thought he was that great until, you know. In, in I didn't way. even know he ever left in the first place. Like, oh, wait, no, he did. He was Jamal, wasn't he? Yeah. So, yeah, I fucking knew that. I was going to say you learn something new every day, but you don't. Yeah. Yeah, so, um. I'm kind of torn on, I'm like 50-50 on like if it's true or if it's not, but I mean, if it's true, I'm marking the fuck out over it, like I am super stoked and excited for some John Bernard WWE, I just think he's so like different that he would fit in like really well, I think like, like you don't have like, like you said, like there's no really like big guy that can go, he's kind of like, I mean he's probably like Mark Henry size, but he's actually like agile as fuck in the ring, so... I'm, like, jizzing all over this. I'm, like, orgasming over the thought of, like, John Bernard and John Cena having a feud after WrestleMania. I think that would be fucking awesome. I didn't think I would be that excited until I heard he was going to work with John Cena and he's going to have a huge thing. I've also heard he might come in as Johnny Ace's bodyguard. Ooh. I don't know if you read this, but that, I mean, that doesn't sound like a high-profile type thing, but, I mean, you never know. You never know. I think, I think it'd be a good move. I think it'd be a smart move for them. He hasn't been with them in what, like, eight or nine years now so now is the perfect time to bring him back put him over as a monster i know they already have enough monsters but i mean mark henry's probably gonna you know be done by the end of the year big show is probably gonna retire sometime soon you would think so i mean bringing another big huge monster guy who can actually go in the ring i think is a super smart business decision by wb and i think this guy could get super over i think he'd be mad over if he came back i really do yeah yeah and i definitely can see that um I think he's. I even think he, he's a better worker than all the other big guys that they have. I mean, I think he's a better worker than the than the Ezekiel Jacksons, the Mason Ryans, the yeah. obviously the great the great Collies. The yeah, I think he's a better worker than Big Show. I don't Andy. know, dude. Collie's pretty good. I don't know if you can put him on that level yet. Yeah, I mean, I'm just fucking around. There's, yeah, there's nobody. There's nobody on his level yeah, like at all. Mark Henry. Ring, he's better than Mark Henry and Big Show as a big guy in the ring. It, it, it almost seems like. They need that, the best example of basically saying what is, they need that kind of like Michael Elgin kind of guy, who's a big guy who can work and, and, and could be thrusted into that main event level, and I definitely think they could work. So, yeah, I mean, we don't really know for sure if this is true or it's not. It's been floating around. They've been trying to get in contact with him for like two months um, is what I read and, and really and he's, a, he's a great tag team wrestler too. Like think yeah. if they actually I've – heard, I've heard now they're going to sign Brody Lee. Now they don't know. Or they hasn't been official, but they want to. I think if they put him in like a tag team with like Brody Lee, I think that'd be a great tag team. That'd be just a huge monster tag team. Or sign Michael Elgin, put them together. Like those guys, like just two big power guys that can go. Would why be... not even Carl Anderson? Why not even Carl Anderson? I mean, Carl Anderson. I mean, they're mad Carl over Anderson in New Japan work. and they're yeah. Asian. So I mean, you know, they if WWE wanted to 
revitalize the tag team division. They would do something like that with John Bernard. But I think they want him to be a huge single star. I think they see money in this guy. Uh, they see the. I mean, I mean, Vince just. I think he sees that how well he's done over in New Japan, and thinks when he brings it back, he can get him mad over again. And if you put him in a feud with your biggest star, and you perhaps put him over in that feud, that's huge. That's huge for creating a credible new challenger to the main event scene. I think. I think the one thing that people looked over uh, with John Bernard was his ability to speak, and a lot of the promos he's cut in Japan, if you've seen any of them, are actually very good and, like, very, like, you know, I don't want to say passionate, but very, like, aggressive, and he, and he gets his point across, and he, he really sells himself as a monster. Um, you know, it seems like what, they're, what they could do with, with, with A-Train or Giant Bernard is what a lot of people wanted to see done with Brodus Clay. Um, and I think this could work and uh, see where they could go with it. But, yeah, I mean, I'm glad to hear the news of this. I think this would be great. And, obviously, you know, the signing of if they do sign Brody Lee, um, that would be an interesting, you know, combination there to see those guys. It, I think – I really think WWE time. sees – Yeah, I, I think really WWE is kind of getting the – behind the idea of we got to start bringing in big guys who can work because we've, we've looked at, you know, the Collies and the Big Shows and the Mark Henrys, and those guys can only do so much and have, you know, 10-minute main event matches, and, and we can't we can't do that. We can't have, you know, Mason Ryan and Ezekiel Jackson in there, you know, and just be in the match for, you know, seven-minute main events because those are the guys that they want to push to the main event, you know, but they can't work. They're not good. They, you know, they can't get on the ground and wrestle, and they can't compel and really do a 20-minute main event. So... Um, right, you know. and I, I think they want the best of both worlds. Like, they want, like, their style of look. Like, they want the big, brawling guys. Like, Vince Man loves those guys. But they also want, you know, the guys that would please the people who love, you know, the technicians, the in-ring workers, the guys that, you know, can actually go in the ring. I think they want, like, a combination of those now. I think they know, they realize wrestling is totally different now and where, you know, and I think a big thing is the UFC has kind of shown this. Like, you know, the best pound for pound fighters in the world are like 170 pounds, 185 pounds right now. So they realize the small guys that can work, people enjoy watching that. But if you have a big guy that can work, it, it looks even better because, you know, everyone loves the heavyweight style of wrestling. It's just, it's always going to be, it's always going to be pretty, pretty much top dog in the wrestling world. It's always going to be what Vince McMahon wants. But I think if he can get big guys who could do crazy stuff and have crazy good matches in the ring, that's what he's looking for now. Hmm. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think that would work. So, um, yeah, any last words there, Mr. MVP Shear, before we go? I think that just, uh, we said most of it. Yeah, I'm just I'm psyched for it. I'm, I'm psyched for the direction WWE's going with bringing in big men that I'm not sitting there thinking, oh, I'm forced to watch crap. Like, they can actually put on something that is entertaining, in the very least, which they haven't done in a really long while. Yeah, yeah so, I definitely yeah. agree with that. So I guess we're going to get out of here, guys. This is Matt Scientist, 7890, Mr. MVP Shear, 123R88. Make sure I say that. And, um, yeah, let us know what you guys think about uh, this A-Train possibly going to WWE here. Um, still a rumor. We don't know what's going on for sure. But uh, let us know what you guys think, if you like it, if you hate it. Who knows? So we're going to get out of here. And deuces. <laughs>